Hi guys, I'm Alex Tugard, and I'm going to show you a quick lap of the Hockenheim circuit. Uh, before we start the lap, uh, note that there is um, several gears for certain corners, and a lot of it comes down to preference and uh, setup. Uh, and you know, albeit the setups were quite limited, uh, there's still uh, room for uh, your preference and. Uh, your driving style, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, let's get on with the lap. So down the front stretch we go. Head down towards turn one in sixth gear. Shift down to fifth. Use all of the room available. Hopefully carry a lot of speed, go back up to sixth. And then from sixth to first or second as you enter turn two. You'll get a little bit of slip on the exit. But uh, a little bit isn't too bad because you want to keep the uh, momentum up as you now go down the, uh, I suppose the back stretch or one of two back stretches and down towards the slowest corner on the track, which is absolutely a first gear corner, slowing down to about 40 miles an hour. You will, uh, if there's any way you're going to spin, it'll be out of that corner. Uh, but keep it together. Go down the second back stretch, I suppose, and down into the Mercedes corner. You'll also be taking this in first gear. Little bit of wheel spin on the exit there. Up to third through the right hander. The track really is just that quick once you're in the zone. There's only a certain amount of things you need to think about. Taking lots of the track through there. And down into the Saks curve now. Very much in the end of the lap through the little left right, go all the way over to the left hand side to cut a nice tight line, again use the uh, curb on the exit, round the final corner shifting up through fourth, into fifth, into sixth, and that is a lap of the Hockenheim circuit.